The work we do at Phoenix leads to change. Our services span a wide spectrum and meet the unique individual needs of people, whatever their hopes and ambitions for themselves or their family's future. As we've developed our expertise, we've shared our approaches, creating best practice and influencing policy. And we've spoken out, giving voice to the people we support. Our expertise is psychosocial treatment and support, which is the common thread through everything we do. At our core, we support individuals, families and communities to recover from drug and alcohol problems. This is our purpose. In 2014, we worked with staff, external stakeholders and people who use our services to create a set of values and beliefs. We thought carefully about the words we wrote. We wanted them to be our compass, guiding our day-to-day -day work and our decision-making. We are passionate about recovery. Our relentless optimism and energy for overcoming dependency motivates those we help to realise their own recovery. Families, friends and carers need hope, care and guidance just as much as their loved ones. We value our history. We believe you can only really know who you are if you understand and respect where you've come from. We've learnt much as an organisation over the last 50 years and used that wealth of knowledge to create a bright and brilliant new future for those in need of hope today. We believe in being the best. That is why we constantly strive to learn and to innovate, to challenge ourselves, to adapt and to work together with others who can bring valuable expertise. Striving to be the best doesn't mean wanting to be the biggest. It means giving the very best of ourselves to achieve our purpose. These values have served us well in the last six years. They set out what we expect of ourselves and each other. We know that because we tested them with the organisation in the staff survey in November last year. Almost everyone at Phoenix believes Phoenix employees display behaviours that reflect our values. Our values don't just give us a sense of how we should behave and where we should focus our efforts. They allow us to measure our performance and behaviours. Our purpose, together with our values and beliefs, are our guiding principles of the organisation. They guide us in our day-to-day -day work and they signal to the world who and what we are. Our strategy shows what we will achieve. We write a new strategy every three years, and this year we're launching our new strategy, Sustainable Recovery. There are many plans that set out how we will achieve sustainable recovery. These plans help us see how we contribute as a department, a team, and as individuals to our shared purpose. Our new strategy, Sustainable Recovery, has three broad areas of focus, which build on the work of the last strategy, Confident About Recovery. We will continue to deliver and develop services that sustain recovery. We will ensure we have the skills and resources to sustain delivery, and we commit to making a sustainable difference in the world. Services that sustain recovery. Our psychosocial expertise has been really vital through the COVID pandemic. We've maintained an opportunity for people to access rehab when many close their doors. We've developed a pathway from prison to rehab in Scotland funded by the Scottish Government. We've supported local efforts in Essex, London and Derby to get everyone in off the streets. We've developed approaches in our prison services that allow people to continue to get the help they need through the lockdown and we're sharing our wide range of specialist housing models to support the Herculean effort of housing homeless people when they leave their temporary accommodation after lockdown. We are recognised as the experts for psychosocial substance misuse treatment. In the coming year, we will be continuing to develop our expertise in a wide range of multiple and complex needs, including trauma and mental health. In housing, we're developing a pre-tenancy training programme for service users. In our prison services, we'll be creating new models to support a wider range of needs, including mental health needs. 
in our community services, the experience of online interventions over the last three months has offered us an opportunity to engage people who face barriers in accessing face-to-face -face support. And in our residential services, we will be deepening our knowledge and expertise of supporting people with complex needs through practice development and research. A charity with the skills and resources to sustain recovery. A sound financial footing is essential to surviving in the substance misuse sector. We've been able to support staff through the coronavirus crisis because we have sound finances. One of the reasons we are a secure charity is because we focus on creating the right processes to support good governance. We will be supporting staff to better understand those processes and working to make them easier to navigate. Automation will play a key part in those improvements, in the main across our HR and finance processes. We'll be developing further our learning and development offer and creating opportunities for personal and professional development, as well as ensuring you have the information and the skills to perform your role to the highest standard. And we will look at how we recruit the most talented people into our organisation. There will be specific projects on diversity and inclusion and health and wellbeing, which you will have an opportunity to get involved in. And we will also be looking at how we maintain our values and culture in the new remote world. And that new world has to be a sustainable world and we're committed to making a sustainable difference in it. Our last strategy launched our commitment to speaking out against stigma. That seems such a natural and coherent thing we do now. When we talk about stigma, we actually mean discrimination, judgments and behaviours that limit opportunities for people. We will continue to call out where we see it and to give insight into the lives of people who experience addiction. We will continue to give voice to people who use and need our services and support their human right to recover. Our new brand identity reflects this. Last year, I posed the question, could we be carbon neutral? And the very bright and energetic minds we have in Phoenix found the answer to be yes. Not only that, we started to put a plan together to achieve it. Last year, we reduced our carbon emissions by 27% and we'll be able to declare carbon neutral status in November of this year. There are a whole range of initiatives in the work plans which will be overseen by the Environmental Sustainability Focus Group, including embedding our RTN approach into our delivery and helping us all learn how to better care for the environment. The thinking that created the sustainable recovery strategy happened before the pandemic, but it seems more relevant than ever in whatever the new world will be. Although the pandemic has impacted the whole world, our experience of it is very individual. As we proceed through the rest of the year, people's lives will continue to change and we will also start to create a new Phoenix normal. It will be a challenge, but our guiding principles, our values and our purpose, and our energy and our commitment will create sustainable recovery. <laughs>